let's talk about actions and arguments. To create an action that the macro will perform, click on the drop down next to the Add New Actions box, the green plus sign, and you'll notice here we have a lot of different actions that our macro can create. Let's say, for instance, we want the system to beep at us. I'll go ahead from the drop down and choose beep. You'll notice here that it pops up. Now, if I decided, whoops, I didn't mean to add beep in there, on the right-hand side of the screen, I can click on the black X to delete that action. Let me show you a different one. Because in addition to choosing an action, you might also have to tell Access how to take that action. This additional information is known as an argument. Let me show you the open form action and its arguments. So from the drop down one more time, I could scroll down till I get to open form, or on my keyboard, I can start typing in the word open. Now, once I type in the O and the P, you'll notice that open form pops up at the top of the drop down. From here, I can click on the tab on my keyboard, and that opens up the list of arguments in the window for open form. Here, the arguments are form name, view, filter name, where condition, data mode, and window mode. Notice how the word required is pre-populated into the form name field. You must tell the macro which form, of course, you want to open. Well, not every action will have the same list of arguments. I'll go ahead and close the open form action again by clicking on the X on the right-hand side of the screen. Now this time, let's take a look at the email database object action. From the drop down again, I'll start to type in email, E-M. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key on my keyboard. There's more, right? Because you're sending off an object via email, we see different arguments like to, cc, bcc, the subject, and the message box. We'll go over these different arguments in a later course. Now let's take a look at the action catalog. Displayed on the right-hand side of the screen, the action catalog displays nodes to help you create your macros. Program flow is used to add comments to your macros, group actions, add if statements, and sub macros. The action node stores the actions that you will need, organized into categories. In this database, list the objects that contain macros within this current database. In the next video, we'll take a look at error handling.